Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another Sunday Stata tip. Today, I wanna to revisit the GMM estimation in Stata. First, I just wanna clarify a couple of things from the Sunday Stata tip last week. And then second, I'm going to show you how to add year fixed effects to a GMM estimation, as well as use cluster robust standard errors. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, just as before, we had these lines of code just to do the regression, the IV regression, as well as use the GMM for the OS and the IV. That's exactly the same as last week, so I'll just run that again just so we have it handy. And then let's turn to revisiting some of the code from last week. Now, last week I mentioned that you could or could not use this one-step option. That was not correct. You really shouldn't use this one-step option unless you have a ton of data and it takes a long time to run a GMM. The reason why you want to not do that and rely on the default or two-step option is because when Stata uses a two-step method to calculate your coefficients, you're going to have better precision, a lower standard error of your coefficients. And so using a two-step instead of a one-step is going to be beneficial. Related to that, before I had this comma independent right in here, this was also not correct because this is telling Stata that your error terms for the OOS and the IV are independent of each other. That's not what we're trying to do. We're assuming that the OOS and the IV coefficient are dependent. The error terms are related. And the whole point of doing this instead of just a basic Hausman test is again to really test those coefficients for the OOS and the IV against each other. So now that we have that completely done, we can go ahead, let's just run everything from the top. And you can see one thing that we don't have convergence, our estimator did not converge. That's fine, this is more of a silly regression, we're just using this as an example. But if you're doing an actual test when you're running your code, just make sure that your GMM estimator is converging here, and if not, you might have to investigate why. So that's part one. Let's move on to part two, where we're adding year fixed effects to the GMM estimator, as well as adding cluster robust standard errors. So here's what we're gonna do. This is exactly the same as before. The difference is I'm doing the name of my coefficient, so OY, colon I dot foreign. So this will create a vector of independent variables for I dot foreign, of which there's two values. So this is like adding in foreign fixed effects. Notice that I dot foreign enters into the instruments. And then notice that my W matrix now has clustered. It's now clustered by make of the car. And in this auto data set, the make of the car is the actual name. So again, this doesn't make a lot of sense to do it this way. I'm just using this as an example. So we can go ahead and run this. And as you can see, we don't have convergence. The model is exactly identified. So we're not, again, this is kind of silly. So I'm not surprised that it's not exactly working as it's supposed to. But in theory, this will work. I've used this for other analyses and this works just fine. So just make sure with your specific data, this is working okay. But again, we can do this test and we can have our nice little t-test where we're having year fixed effects as well as cluster robust standard errors. So hopefully this just clears up a couple of things from last week and gives you a little bit more detail on how the GMM estimator works. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time for another case of econ struggles.